Boxing's Jason Bright. Can he eclipse this time? He is one of only three pole sitters this year, and he shares the title of the most successful pole man with Garth Tander. He has started on pole three times this year. Outstanding job from Ford Performance Racing and Jason and Mark at Sandown, the 500 just recently. And Lee just detailing their fine form in qualifying this year. Really all clicked together for this team this year. A lot of pressure on Bright. He was the last man to win in a Ford. And now that this Ford Performance Racing Falcon is back on song, there are big expectations from Bright. He's up by almost one and a half tenths. That is a great start to the lap. Is pretty favourably even with what Mark did yesterday in ideal conditions. Did a 51-6 yesterday, Mark. So 51-8 to the first split for Jason Bright. It's coming your way, Daz. Yeah, you can definitely hit on the cut there, Neil. Up against the fence, nice and tidy for Jason. Car looks really stiff in the rear, Neil, all the way. Bounces through the apex of that turn, but nice and tidy. Yeah, saw it bouncing a little bit off the exit of turn two before. What he did also do then was get 100% throttle very early through Forest Elbow, which has the effect of lengthening Conrod Strait, 1,600-odd metres of it, but every extra metre counts. This is a good lap. Two and a half tenths of a second up into the middle of the chase. Right here this weekend, partnered with Mark Winterbottom, his successful co-driver. These two guys winning the Better Electrical 500 at Sandown. But does this man put it on pole? Can he set a time that's too hard to beat? Will he go better than Rick Kelly? It comes to line. Yes, he does. At 207.72. Uh, uh, P1, mate. P1 at the moment. Well done. P1 it is at the moment. There's the chairman of co-drive in the background, David Richards. Jason Bright giving us the debrief on at the start of his lap. He wasn't all that happy, but it's good enough to get in there with just one driver to come. But let's get back to Greg. Well, Rick Kelly, the radio call you made, unfortunately, you've just been pipped by Jason Bright. The radio call you made to the T.